So, uh, it's a sick shirt. Thanks, man. Where'd you get it? Uh, Buffalo Exchange. It's a thrift shop in Austin, Texas on Guadalupe. Pretty sure that's right. Guadalupe? Yep. Oh, that's yeah, it's cool. Guadalupe if you're from Austin. <laughs> 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 hey everybody, welcome to Meet the Devs. I'm James Pugh. With me today is 3D modeler Josh Coons. Josh, how you doing, man? Sup? <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so you're visiting from Austin. Yep. How did you get started here at CIG? Just kind of stumbled upon, uh, you know, a little bit of the hype on the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, like CIG, it's completely crowdfunding. Up until this point, most of the games that fund themselves this way are, you know, small iPhone games. Yeah. And then you got this game. I think it was before this, it was just, honestly, it was a double fine and a couple other people that yeah. really had actually been really successful here. Yeah. And so, in that sphere of Kickstarter. So that piqued my interest. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, man, that is the only way to make an MMO now. <laughs> like, you know, post, post World of Warcraft yeah. era MMOs that are huge. And this is definitely uh No, I just looked at the game. Uh, I've watched a couple episodes of um, uh, Next Rear Starship. Chris Roberts, I like I like the fact that the guy heading up the project is like that's his game, that's the game he wants to play, and mm -hmm. that means passion. And I follow that. Watching the next greatest Starship, I'm like, oh man, they're like they're doing stuff online. This is new. This is fresh. Like, yeah. They don't have a publisher. This is crazy. And I like I'm crazy, so I want to join the crazy you seem, train. You seem crazy. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where were you at before this? Were you in the industry before? Or yeah, I was at uh, id Software up in uh, well now Rich Richardson. You Texas. might you might have heard of them. Yeah, id? might yeah. have heard. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Doom. Is that what you're working on over there? Um, yeah, you already did your press reveal, so yeah. Uh, so <laughs> oh, you were? Yeah, I was on uh, Doom Four. What were you working on? What were you working on for that? Uh, majorly uh, environments and props. Oh, nice. Those environments look awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, they did a great job on that demo <laughs> reveal. I had had a good time. And they used my door, too, so I made the door in that video. <laughs> Have you ever played any of Chris Roberts' games before you got here? Um, no, actually, I hadn't. And um, this has been my first real, like, in-depth space where it's more focused on, um, you know, the world. Mm -hmm, like immersion. Um, and I mean, I've played, like... Um, you know, uh, Mass Effect and mm -hmm. those types of games, but uh, this game and uh, the fans that are into this type of game are my type of people. I like working on new and unknown stuff for me too, so like getting down to the nitty gritty on building a ship is not something that's expected of me on, you know, other projects. Yeah. It's just, you know, like, we need this asset, it needs to look good. Does it need to work? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> But this is way more in depth, and I'm learning all kinds of new things, and that's really what I. I'm doing something new. I'm I'm a happy happy camper. Yeah, this thing that always freaks me out is, is not only does it have to look good, but everything has to actually work. Yeah, from the toilet bowl <laughs> to the control stick, it's all got to work. <laughs> Did you always want to be in games, or was there something you wanted to do before? Um, I actually applied to Capcom. Uh, age eleven, <laughs> I still I still have it. In my, it's the last piece of my portfolio. Did you play um, Street Fighter and you're like, I gotta work there? Uh, I was a Mega Man fanatic, mm. fanatic. But yeah, also Street Fighter. Um, yeah, I applied to them at age 11, and they actually replied to me. They sent them all kinds of concept drawings, and, <laughs> and they uh, sent me back like a, you know, a canned letter that somebody actually signed. But there's all these like typos in it, and <laughs> they were just basically like, yeah, we don't, we're not, yeah, no. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't need eleven year olds. I was eleven. I was crushed. I was like, Ugh. do you remember? You're old enough to remember the Nintendo Power uh, contest where you could draw or, or you could design a Mega Man. That came out right guys. after. Really? I did that. Yeah. Not, so you caused that. And I and I I kid you not, two of the ones that I did were the same name. They weren't the same design, but were the ones selected from the Nintendo Power contest. Oh, what name? And I was like, mm, uh, let's see if I remember this correctly. It was Nightman. And the other one was even more generic than that. 
So are you, nine, man. are you prepared? Yeah, are you Day prepared man. to say that it's why Sunny Philadelphia stole your concept? Oh no. <laughs> nah, I go with uh, the Nightman. He's he's my kind of guy. <laughs> I like the cat eyes. <laughs> Gotta pop a man. All right, man. We're gonna let you go, but before we do, we got some rapid fire questions. You ready? Yes. Favorite movie? Oh, man. Aliens. I've never seen it. You should watch that. Are you sure? Yeah. It's my dad's favorite movie, too. He's I, was, I was just telling somebody upstairs they had seen Aliens. I'm all like, you shouldn't be allowed in the building unless you've seen that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I can almost go through an entire day without saying one word that isn't a line from that movie. Just communicate totally through alien quotes. Love that movie. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. You should. Favorite video game? Uh, uh, oh, man. That one's harder, isn't it? That's like... Asking an artist his favorite color. What's your favorite color? Red is the correct I'm answer. I'm gonna go black. Go. What? It's not color. It's not a color. That's why I picked it. <laughs> favorite movie? I mean, game rather. <sighs> you have to pick. You can't be the first person on the show never to pick. I got so many. Candy Crush. Yeah, is it Candy Crush? Words of Friends. Words of Friends? Nah, I'm gonna go with. Um, Barbie's Horse Adventure. If we're going by hours played. That's a cop out. I know what you're gonna say. World of Warcraft? Nope. Oh. What do you got? Uh, no. According to my Steam, um, it's uh, Company of Heroes. Really? Yep. What's your game time on Company of Heroes? Over 800 something. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. That game came out in 2005. Mm -hmm. I play it almost every day. That's awesome, man. Yeah, love that game. Cool. Um, Company of Heroes is a great game, but I did not play it for 800 hours. Yeah. Favorite ship in Star Citizen? Ooh. Currently, other than mine, um, can't say yours. I'm gonna go uh, Redeemer. Redeemer, my Redeemer. It's sexy. It is pretty sexy, right? Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Or um, Hornet, Hornet Ghost too. Hornet Ghost. Something about that ship. Not the Jean Scout. Nah, it's like, I like the Ghost. It's all Night Rider. Yeah, but it's like a horizontal, cool alien ship. It is. It does have a cool shape. No one likes the ship of me, apparently. <laughs> it looks like it. If I hit it, it fall apart really easy. It does. We'll it find does. out. Yeah, it'll really be pretty. Just <laughs> I just did. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Thanks again for yeah. joining us. Yeah. Once again, this is Josh Coons, and I'm James Pugh, and you just met a dev. <laughs> Almost got it. <laughs> Do finger guns. <laughs> Don't do that. That makes a cool sound. Yeah. Right, we're done. Yeah. Uh, we'll cut it before that. It's the only part we're going to show. <laughs> you should uh you should you, you should do after effects remember me catch it.